We made it. <laughs> we didn't expect to run first in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dean. And today it's very, very early, like just before 7 a.m. The sun, I don't think the sun's up. No. There's so much mist. <laughs> you barely see the entrance. But today is an animal kingdom day. We've just uh, been very lucky to get on the bus and have the last spots on the bus. We're literally just behind the line. I've probably got some footage we'll, we'll put in probably after this. Yeah, and uh, we're here. The park officially doesn't open until half seven. So we've got a bit of hanging around to do. I don't know if they're going to hold us or if we're going to be allowed to go in because our strategy for today, we've bought Genie Plus, which actually we can start to book yes. um, things for, but our strategy is flight of passage first. Rope drop. Yeah. We've never done rope drop here before, have we? Apart from no. when we went for breakfast. Yeah. We've always said, well, we'll rope drop, we'll rope drop, and then we just... And then, yeah, but then rope drop happens like 15 minutes earlier than you expect. Yeah. <laughs> but we're here, we think we're going to do it. Um, Let's see how long we last here. We have got some plans for later on today, so make sure you stay tuned to see what we're up to. Let's go have a morning in Animal Kingdom. Uh, so we're being held. Uh, don't know for how long for. I say the park doesn't open until half past. We're hoping we're laying early yeah, so we can make some. a beeline. Let's see if our strategy works. I'm sure it will. To be fair. Yeah, but we've said that about other things. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it will. Given like I'm looking around. The, the flight of passage, the passage is huge. Yeah. And not all, I'm not like a run fast enough. It's fine. <laughs> oh, don't run. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 We're in. It is 13 minutes past seven, to be precise. <laughs> and we are through. We've um, had our tickets or van scanned. We've also had them scanned at the checking that you're in resort. So we're officially in the extra magic half an hour. Except today, 47. 47 yeah, <laughs> although we don't know if this is just gonna take us to like a holding area or actually we are gonna be able to queue, but everyone is beelining to Pandora. I'm out of breath. <laughs> so that is where we're gonna head as well. Let's see if this strategy works. We will keep you updated. <laughs> If you are planning on rope dropping, be prepared for crowds. Be prepared for people pushing in and trying to get close to the front. And yeah, there's yeah. people that have gone, oh, I'm just going to see that person down there, and yeah. there they go. <laughs> so, just something to be prepared for if this isn't really your thing. Yeah. <laughs> it is crazy. <laughs> but it is. 7.22 and we're already being let through. I'm guessing that's so that we can get into the flight of passage queue line and they open it like bang on 7.30 maybe yeah. being the first ride. Oh, okay. So, got the end of the line stick. <laughs> we will see, but it's proper full on like road drop in the sense that we're all stood behind a row and I guess oh, we're all stood behind a rope and I think we're probably going to be like divided to Navi or um, Flight of Passage. So we will see how long this takes. Let's say 7.22 we started moving. What time do you think we'll be on the ride? Quarter two. Yeah, I think that's fair. Good save over there. I feel like we're in the rainforest cafe, but obviously like way better. Yeah, it's slightly more upmarket version. It's incredible in here. Oh, there it is, Bubba Love. So, that ride's awesome, as always. We're on and off within 30 minutes. We yeah. actually got on bang on quarter two, which is what we yeah. uh, predicted. Amazing, it's now saying 45 minutes, so we minute. waited 15. And everyone's going that way now. And they've just opened up for non-resort guests, okay, within the next 
10 15 minutes, that's gonna be like two hours. Like. Yeah. 100% recommend if you can get up, you can drag yourself out of bed, yeah. get in here for seven. It's commitment, it is commitment. Yeah, well, wow. we, I, did, I did question our judgment this morning. Yeah, well, when the alarm went off at six, yeah. That's right, I, I just wanna snooze. So, first time I've actually thought that in, in Disney, I wanna snooze, and then within two minutes, I was like, nah, I'm up, yeah. I'm awake. So worth it. Uh, we're now going to head to the safari and then our first lightning lane starts at 8.05 to 9.05. Just so, dinosaur. Yeah, so we'll be able to do three rides in pretty quick succession. So. I don't know what we're doing, we're, do we're dodging the crowd, we seem to be going against the grain. So even though it's only half an hour you get, it is enough to probably get on maybe a ride. You can even sometimes do it twice like we did with Everest. Yeah. This way. Uh, or, yes, man. <laughs> or um, at least get you to like the front of a queue for so, like one of the biggest ticket items. And the little bees are great migrating animals, migrating up to a thousand miles a year. Search for fresh water and grasses. I think the animals along with their large herds to protect everyone from predators. That safari was so good. You didn't see any lions, but no. we saw all of the cheetahs out and about, and we managed to get a glimpse of the baby hippo. Yeah, and two baby giraffes, and the baby zebra. Oh, yeah. Um, and a baby, well, it's not a baby, it was a year old uh, white rhino. Yeah, white rhino. So there's definitely something to be said for doing the safari first thing in the morning or as late as you possibly can. Because it gets dark earlier uh, this time of year, the safari, um, the last time that you can do it is at the moment uh, 4.45 yeah. before it gets dark. Yes, I'm not sure if they're still doing the night time safaris that you can take, take from... Animal Kingdom Lodge. Yeah. Right. Yeah, not, not sure if they're running at the moment. They're like a paid extra thing, which we were meant Obviously, to be doing. Got, they, they give you night vision goggles, so there's a reason you don't do the safari at night time. <laughs> you wouldn't like, see yeah. anything. Um, but yeah, definitely safari first thing in the morning after rope dropping flight of passage. <laughs> I mean, like, it was still a five minute queue when we got a ten minute queue when we got there yeah. we did only queue ten minutes. Yeah, exactly. We got on really quickly. Uh, but now, oh, it's very bright. <laughs> it's bright this morning. Um, but now it is time for us to head to our Dinosaur Genie Plus and then we'll see what else we can get. We haven't got loads of rides that are on our sort of bucket list today because we pretty much did most of them when we were here last time. Yeah, the but one bucket list like today was rope drop and flying passage and we did yes. it. <laughs> but there, <laughs> there are a couple of shows that we want to do, so we want to see the winged encounter and 100% I want to go see the Lion King. I don't know that it's you... Really, it was really good last time, so yeah. yeah. Back, back to the same show, isn't it? I think so. I think there are some modifications, so we'll have to see what it's like. Um, and then yeah, just see see where the day takes us. We have something very, very exciting booked for later on today. Yeah, we do. Uh, so stay tuned. Watch yeah, we're not where we. <laughs> yeah, I would say yeah. In case it doesn't happen, but watch this space. Stay tuned because fingers crossed, something very exciting is going to happen. <laughs> Christmas song in the sunshine. In the sunshine, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Always listen out for that change of music because it definitely means someone's coming. We also just saw Santa as well, but we didn't get the camera out in time. Oh, what, did, what, what have you seen? I did. You like you go off and seen something? Snacks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm making a beeline for snacks. Every time. <laughs> This is definitely a shareable snack. <laughs> Improvement. I mean, fair. <laughs> it's not really taking on their dance moves, are you? One thing to recommend.
recommend if you want to come and see The Lion King. Maybe any of the other shows, but this is the only experience that we've had. Get in line early or use Genie Plus. Um, got interrupted. <laughs> um, yeah, the one did. I couldn't go with but I said the line. Priorities. Um, recommendation, get in line early for shows or do Genie Plus. So we Genie Plus this and we were like, I guess in older times, you'd be like, oh, there's no need to fast fast shows. Like we'll do that as like a last resort because we're probably pretty much guaranteed to get into a show. Not so much anymore. Uh, I think I don't know, they're still limiting the numbers in there or? Yeah, so. Which is popular because it's not been better for a while. The Genie Plus line is really long for this. Um, and the main line is really, really long. So definitely recommend getting here early or Genie Plus. <laughs> but I'm so excited that we're gonna go see The Lion King. So excited. I'm so glad that it's back. This is like my favorite show. Hi everybody, hey, It was really good, but glad it's back. yeah, uh, yeah, very glad it's back. It's amazing to have shows here, like it's great. But and there is a but. <laughs> um, there were certain bits that are personally my favourite bits in the show. So the tumble monkeys, oh, yeah. and also the um, air, 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 aerial, aerial acrobatics, acrobatics <laughs> from oh yeah, <laughs> mouthful from the bluebird and they were missing um i think it was a socially distanced performance yeah because they the two birds like, danced either side of the stage they did it well and flowed really nicely but yeah they don't be like close so yeah then you like throws around the yeah so i think if you've never seen it before like that show would be absolutely amazing and it was really good but again as i say it's just the fact that we know that there's something missing um and that's sort of been the theme of disney it's amazing to be back it's still magical, but there is little something <laughs> Yeah. And there's just that little bit in the back of your mind that's like, oh it's different, it's not and it's it's different because of restrictions, so not in like a good different. But it is what it is. We are still very happy to be here. So nice to be in a theatre. Um, you feel really safe because everyone is wearing masks and they're so hot on it. So from that perspective, I felt really safe. Yeah, it's busy. Oh, popcorn. That's yeah, nice. chill and butter. Um, we're going to go do winged encounters now. So this is going to be a brand new show for us. Um, yeah, I've done it. Have you ever done it? No, I haven't. So we got it on Genie Plus. Um, again, just sort of to guarantee that we were going to get in because the shows really do fill up. And then, I don't know, we might see if we can get a walk up to Nomad Lounge, maybe. Um, we'll try it now, it's 11. Oh, it's 11, yeah, I could do that now. Because you register for the walk up on your phone. Um, and then we'll see where the day takes us. where Feathered Friends in Flight is. It's just in the entrance to Asia. Potentially fail with Nomad Lounge. Mm -hmm. I was on basically that. Yeah, basically that. Um, and it just says that it can't accommodate us. Um, no, so I don't actually know how you get a uh, get like, lucky. Get lucky with a, a walk up. Um, well, basically, just get lucky. Yeah, I suppose so. Um, yeah. I maybe we'll wander past there and see like what they say. I don't think I did it wrong. I've been checking on and off since like eight this morning, and it definitely said to come back at eleven when it opens for walk in. Like I'll keep checking, but I think the Nomad Lounge dream may not be a thing today. Yeah, maybe not today. No. Oh well. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 But first, feathered friends in flight. Yeah, feathered friends in flight. Quite a mouthful. <laughs> Like that have been 
here inspiring people for over 20 years now. We're giving you a really close look, like that one. That's Sebastian, the ground corn pear. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay, Miles, check it out. Here we go. Yes! Whoa! That was awesome. Good job, you You can take a seat. That was so great. Watch what Aerie's doing, right? She's passing out treats. That's how we communicate with the birds here. Mm. If they do something cool or something we really like, we can give them one of their favorite toys or favorite treats. And then... <laughs> <laughs> Why are you giving her a treat for untying my shoe? What? Oh, I didn't notice she untied your shoe. <laughs> okay, well, that's, I mean, it's good to pay her for coming back to the rock, I guess. Yes. But anyway, um, so like I said, we're basically looking for, um, every time they do something that we like, we give them one <laughs> <laughs> this is Keto. She's a Amazon Amazon double yellow head Amazon parrot. Uh -huh. Wait, the mouthful. Uh -huh. I know that's pretty good. Uh -huh. Well, if you like that, you can start for some fun because Keto also does some good animal impressions, like the big scary tiger. <laughs> 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 that was so good. If you get the chance, go and see that show. It was so good. Um, the like delivery from the two presenters. Such handlers. Yeah, all of the birds, like the educational side to it as well. I enjoyed that way more than I thought it was going to. I need you uh, to stop smiling. If you're afraid of birds, oh, yeah. probably. It's probably still a good one to go to, but they, they do fly around your head. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty low at times. They were so, so good. Yeah, I love that. I definitely recommend doing that. You come here for another reasons. Another reason to love Animal Kingdom. Oh, absolutely. Um, would you like um, an iced coat with your Oh, yeah. Frozen coat purchase? Someone's very happy that he got his frozen coat. To be fair, it does taste nice. Now we're just in the queue for some honey chicken, which smells amazing, it's there already. It is time. <sighs> Katie's been hankering for some honey chicken. I have. And we didn't, we, did we have this last trip? We didn't have it because we had it, or I ha actually had it in the Aquinas. Yeah, we had like the form. So I don't think you've had this? No, I haven't had this one. We had this for breakfast. Oh, the breakfast bowl from here was so good. Um, on our last trip, we had that. Honey chicken purchased. Two ice filters because you gotta stay refreshed and hydrated. And Katie's back in. <laughs> we also got a view of the uh, kite tails as well. Right, it's on lunch. Don't mind me, just cleaning my reusable cutlery. Yeah. <laughs> um, that lunch was so good. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Uh, that lunch was so good. Yeah, so really there is like loads of seating around where Yakineti is. Yeah, you go around to the left, there's loads of seating. And it's around to the right. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at yeah. the this way, it's around to the left. Yeah, so if you're looking at like the cash registers, it's around to the right. There's like a whole yeah. area that you can see. We killed itself when we had breakfast. Yeah, but before. if you come like across the path, you can actually sit by the water. We're in, there's only like maybe six seven. Did you see the last one? No, we were across oh, the other side. Down, so um, there are six or seven tables. So just over here is where you get the honey chicken. And then this is our view. And you'll have just seen, we saw the back of Kite Tails. There have been mixed reviews on that show. Uh, some people love it, some people don't. <laughs> but, um, I think we're in the, the, the former category. Yeah, we I really, like it. really like it. It's just, it's cute. It's something a bit different. It's like a 15 minute watch. This was a really nice place to watch it while we were eating. Obviously it's the back view, so it isn't designed for us. But you but also get closer views of the kites because they actually come right past you. You don't see the whole arena, but the 
kind of come closer yeah. because you've got a scene in front of you. Yeah, so we really enjoyed it. This is a lovely spot, nice and full for lunch. And now um, we have already done the safari today, but we have now got Genie Plus for it. Yes. So we are going to go and ride the safari, maybe do one of the trails, um, yeah, and then head off. I think we're going to have some chill time by one of the no, pools at the resort. Uh, the one we get on and I think I might have a frozen pina colada. It's, like it's like one of those cars. Yeah. Yeah. These happen pretty often here, and obviously, we call it a giraffe champ for a pretty good reason. Usually, the culprits are the giraffe. Now off to the left side of us we also have some wildebeest, some and holy cattle, and of course that Maasai giraffe. As we pass by all these giraffes today, see if you can catch a glimpse of their tongue. <laughs> But as you can see, lions spend a majority of their day sleeping and relaxing, usually about 18 to 20 hours in total, actually. Most of the time, the females are the ones that do all of the hunting, while the males will stay behind and watch over the cubs as well as their territory. Side of us, fairly close to us, is our baby boy Ranger. He turned a year old at the end of October. He probably weighs around 2,000 pounds right now, so he has a lot of growing to do since his adult weight will probably be around 5,000 pounds. On the gorilla trail and we saw a baby five months old it was so tiny literally um one of the cast members spotted it and there was like a chorus of oh mm -hmm. <laughs> so cute these trails are really worth doing just if you want a little bit of a break they're usually like relatively quiet they're quite shaded and yeah it's always quite cool back here yeah it's just quite a nice like escape from the main hustle and bustle of the park and also a good use of time in between maybe waiting for your genie plus um for the next ride it's what we love about an kingdom there's so much to do if like you're having to like wait for rides and things it makes it all go really quick um and yeah, we just love this part. This is a bouncy bridge. <laughs> oh yeah. Sí, pero no sé. ¿Quién estaba doblado, güey? Sí. One final trip. It's the fridge comforts. Smells like every other Starbucks in here. Okay, he's been looking at these mugs. The entire time, you don't know if you get one of these ones or a, or a little one, or like the little crispy, um, the little coffee part. I may treat myself to the mug. Yeah. yeah. Wait, what do you think? Yeah, well, if you want to treat yourself, have a look, go for it. I know you love a mug. I think so. Yeah, and it's our favourite part. It is. Strawberry acai to go. Let's go get the bus. <laughs> nice try the first time. Back me. Back me. Not sure if we've mentioned it before, but we have Fuel Rod. Um, we bought this actually the last trip that we came on, and you can still use them, there's no end date. And basically, you buy them for $30, and you can exchange them as many times as you want. So you come to one of these, they're in all of the hotels, and they're in all of the parks as well. You either buy them from here, or you swap them, pop it in, and a fresh one comes out. They also come with the accessory pack as well the first time that you buy one but we love them handy, very handy. update we are back in our room and i can't remember if we mentioned it before but we had to go to reception yesterday because we had a couple of issues one with the fridge which was resolved 
oh gosh, I'm out of breath, um, which was resolved pretty quickly. We've had a new fridge put in and um, it doesn't make the noise, which is good because it was so loud the other day, like intermittently. The other issue that we've had is that we've had absolutely no housekeeping at all for the whole time that we've been here. Looking in like the book, it's light touch cleaning. Okay, fair enough, COVID. Um, but they're at least meant to come in and change the towels and empty the bins. We've been here five nights now and we've had nothing. Um, we were like, okay, we'll give it a couple of days. Probably should have mentioned it earlier, but time got away from us and it wasn't a massive deal. But now we're like, we're five days in and we're not getting what we paid for. So it's a little bit frustrating, especially as we spoke to reception yesterday and they said that they were gonna resolve it for us. And we've come back and they haven't. So when I go and fill up our refillable mugs, I'm gonna make another trip to reception and see what we can do. Um, I hate like having to complain, but. Kate doesn't like complaining, but Kate will complain if she has to complain. Well, I will just because we've paid a lot of money to stay here as everyone does. And it's just, it's taking the mick a little bit now. So I'm gonna go off and do that. And then I will be having an alcoholic pina colada. <laughs> <laughs> update I don't think I showed you my drink I completely polished it off I had a uh, pina colada it was amazing basically it's a ready made um, pina colada mixed slushy and it just swirled in grenadine it, it, does really good. Good. it does taste very good it was really good what did you have? Um, no I can't remember the name of this drink it's one of their special, special cocktails it's got some rum in it it's a blue caracan just Jimmy goodness. <laughs> we both forgot our sunglasses, which is why we're mega spoon, uh, mega. Oh, uh, back. It's <laughs> why we're mega squinty. <laughs> did you say squinty or did you say sprinty? Like? <laughs> squinty. squinty. <laughs> yeah, we're just going for runs. Um, <laughs> we were gonna go to the hippy dippy pool, which is the main pool, but that was um, busier. So we've come to the computer pool, which is actually quite close to our room. We didn't realise we've got two pools that are basically like. Equidistant. Yeah. So we've realised this this, this this resort is just deceptive. It's a big resort. There's loads of room, but everything seems to be within minutes of each other. I don't feel like we have to walk very far to get anywhere. I think that it really helps that we're in a really central place. If you're coming to stay at Pop Century, I would highly recommend Building Six. It's really close to the Skyliner, the main entrance, two of the pools. But far enough away that if you don't, if you want to come back and chill out during the day, you're not too close to the main pool. It can yeah. be quite loud. Yeah, some of the like upgraded rooms are pool view rooms, and to us, it's not an upgrade. Maybe if you were like around this pool, which is the um, computer pool or the bowling alley or the bowling pin, I think that's the other one, like the yeah. other side of the resort. Maybe that would be okay because they're not mega busy, but the hippy dippy pool, if you're around there, while it's in a central location, it's so loud. So to us, that wouldn't be an upgrade. That wouldn't be something we'd pay for. We just went standard room and absolutely fine with that. Put, put a couple of requests in for where we potentially wanted to be and it seemed to be, it seemed yeah. to have been honest. Yeah, they have. Yeah, we said high floor and I think we chose the 70s um, section as well. Yeah, we said, and it I think we said 70s or 50s. Yeah. Being either side of the main building. Yeah, and it did get honoured. So always good to sort of put in those requests. But for now, I am cooking. I think it's time to dip in the pool. I'm going to give an update of what you've been doing as well. Oh, yes. That's it. <laughs> so, um, well, that's why you were getting jumped yeah. on the camera. Uh, also, um, another quick update. I mentioned uh, the issue that we've been having with housekeeping. I went to the front desk and as always, Disney service was great. Um, they are gonna send a manager to our room to get it sorted straight away because they were like, yeah, it's not on that you've gone five, almost six days without any change of um, like towels or washing, um, towels or bins. We did have spare towels in the room that we've been able to use, but we're like, on yeah. the last of, the, yeah. like last of them now. It's quite, quite like a fresh town for the uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and also they have credited us $50 and it's gone straight onto our account. We yeah. can already see it. So that's nice because that means that our cocktails were just free. <laughs> Maybe it means that I could go shopping as well. No. <laughs> no. It's a simple, simple. <laughs>